the activity now we are going to discuss is measuring of force of buoyancy measuring of force of buoyancy now let us measure the force of buoyancy so do this suspend a stone i have considered here a cork as a stone so we need to measure the weight of this stone with the help of a spring balance see here the weight of this stone what i have considered here is 30 grams how much it is 30 grams now take the beaker half filled with water take the beaker half filled with water now what i am going to do is now immerse the stone into the water immerse the stone into the water when i am going to immerse the stone into the water there is a variation of weight of this object there is a variation of weight of this object we noticed so the weight of this object now it is 10 grams weight of this object now it is 10 grams in previous the weight of this object is 30 grams now the weight of this object is 10 grams 10 grams so do you notice any change in the weight of the stone before yes. and after immersion in the water yes sir so what do we notice so the stone when it is immersed in the water it shows that uh, there is apparent loss of weight there is apparent loss of weight so the apparent loss of weight why does this apparent loss of weight we notice there is a loss of weight when we notice it now so the immersed stone appears to be lost its weight the immersed stone appears to be lost its weight so this redu reduction of uh, weight which is nothing but uh, it is due to buoyant force acting on this object what force which is acting on this object buoyant force so thus the apparent loss of weight apparent loss of weight must be equal to the force which is buoyancy okay understood yes sir